Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweetup along with Tom Nappy, and we're here at the sectional semifinals in Concord Carlisle as your Hopkinton Hillers take on the Concord Carlisle Patriots. Should be a great match tonight, Tom. Yeah, it certainly should. You got two elite teams in that Central West bracket, and this is going to be the toughest test of the playoffs so far for the Hillers. It's going to be a tough one tonight, but of course, after the performance they just had against a very good Franklin team, you have to have some faith in the Hillers tonight. Yep. Concord coming in with an 18-1 record overall, 15-1 in the dual county league. Hillers coming in at 17-2. Uh, and and 14-1 and in the league. Concord Carlisle got a uh, little tradition over there, it looks like. And from what I understand, this Patriots volleyball program has been very good, uh, similar to the Hillers program. They've had a lot of success in the recent years. And we're going to step away here as they do the player introductions.
All right, we're ready to get this match underway. We're we going through the pregame handshake. We certainly are, and uh, Steve, I know you watched the uh, warm-ups a little bit. What are you expecting in this one? Um, based on what I saw in the warm-up, I think it, I think it's going to be a competitive match. I, I do think the Hillers will emerge from this with a victory. I think it will be uh, hard fought. I think it's going to be like the second and third sets with the Franklin match. This team's not as tall as Franklin, but they look uh, like they might be a little bit more athletic. I hope you're right. <laughs> So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got Rachel, Allison, Ivy, Amanda, Jess, Jill, and Angie. Jess will be checking in for Jill momentarily. And Hopkinton will be serving first, won the coin toss. Angie will get the service going. Let's say the uh, player to look out for on Concord Carlisle is Carly Blue. Yep, He's number a 20. Senior, 149 kills on the season. Then you got Megan Murphy with 31 aces and Brooke Smith with 27, so they have a couple of strong servers. Yeah, I noticed during warm-up, it looked like Concord Carlisle was their the setting was a little a little weak. So we'll see if the girls can exploit that. Yeah, I think the Hillers uh, certainly have a bit of an advantage in the front, but they're going to have to be good from the service line tonight. They had their struggles at times against Franklin serving-wise. Uh, fortunately, nothing uh, really too much uh, struggle-wise, but they're going to have to be on their A game tonight. And we're ready to get underway. Angie's got the ball, and we've got the whistle. Sends it deep. Outside set. Good bump by Jen and hit long by Allison. Side out to the Patriots. Yeah, it threw the Hillers off balance there. Megan Hur to serve. One of nine seniors on this team. And See ya. that one is, I have no direction that one went, but it's quite long. Home run. Side out Hillers. Amanda back to serve. Tied up at one. Ooh. And Amanda returns the failure. You got to take advantage of that situation. <clears throat> yep. Side out. Conquer Carlisle. Jess gets to that. Angie goes back set to Rachel. Tipped. Nice bump from Car Concord. Tipped at the net. Angie outside to Zale. Down the line. Great swing wow. from Rachel. Side out Hopkinton. Nice downward hit there. Jill comes in for Ivy. Jess back to serve. Tied up at two here in the first set. Ooh. That's no good. Amanda gets to that. Angie short set to Sarah Pusco. Straight down. That was nice. Well executed. Jenna Woolworth checking in for Angie. It's like Zale she, back to serve. It's like she knew where Sarah Pusco wanted to put that. Angled it perfectly. Amanda off the net. Uh, Kept alive by oh. Rachel. Nice, nice bump over from Jill. Great recovery. Amanda, Rachel outside to Wilworth. Cross court. Beautiful. That's how you do it. Great recovery and a, another excellent hit from Jenna Wilworth. Ooh, just long. Too many unforced errors here for the Hillers. Yeah, you just keep the serves in play. Mia checks in for Rachel. Brooke Smith back to serve. 
Tied up at four. Mia. He's going out. Allison too. gives it back. Nice, nice hit from Jess. Jess gets that again. Mia outside to Jenna. Blocked, and they can't get to it. Side out Hillers. Jenna Wilworth again. She has just been sensational in these playoffs. Allison Lorette to serve. Good serve from Allison. Good block. Girls have a free ball here. Sarah Pusco takes advantage of it. Nice hustle from Concord. Allison with a bump. Mia, short set. Sarah Pusco tipped and kept alive. Oh. Nice swing from, from Blue. Oh, back and forth we go. Yep, Carly Blue back to serve. One of the three co-captains, tri-captains. Lorette off the net, up, Mia misses it. Pretty good atmosphere here at Concord Carlisle. They got the uh, football game going on as well on this Thursday night. Veterans Day, uh, the observation day being tomorrow, Veterans Day on Saturday. Outside to Gilbert and hits that wide. Concord with a two point lead here in the first set, 7 5. Yeah, Hiller's a little rusty to start tonight off. They're not hitting the spots they want. Allison with the bump to Mia, outside to Gilbert. Nice play. That was a really nice pushover. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice, smart play. Great push over there. Yep. Back to serve is Bella Ansi. Received well by Concord. Mia. Jenna, back to Mia. Oh. Sends that one wide. Well, if you're Concord Carlisle, try to take advantage of it here. Lorette to Mia, outside bump. Was way out, oh, miss hit at the net. Jenna Wilworth is coming through huge in this match so far. Side out Hillers, Rachel Zale checking in, as well as Grabmeyer. Angie will go back to serve. Too many unforced errors here early in the first set. Tip, kept alive by Angie. Rachel goes outside to Gilbert. Tipped, nice point for the Hillers. That was a really nice point. We're tied up at eight. And that was one of the things the Hillers were so good at against Franklin, their play on the corners. Yep. Jess to Angie in the middle. Ivy. Here comes a free ball. Allison, Angie, back set to Zale. Blocked, kept alive by Ivy. Angie, outside to Amanda. Gets it to the back row. Just a pushover. Zale with an arm bar. Uh, Hopkins was flat footed there. Side out to the Patriots. Yeah, you can't think this one's going to be easy on the road against the uh, number one seed. Megan Hurd to serve. Jess gets to that. Ivy to the back row. 
Nice bump from Concord. Amanda, Angie, back to Amanda. Blocked. Yeah, nice block in front. That was uh, Willa Blake with a good block there. Concord back to a two point lead here. 10 to eight. Concord Carlisle's the two seed, excuse me. Mm. Oh, that was going out. Yeah, a lot of mistakes by the Hillers, a lot of mistakes. Eleven to eight. Jess receives that well. Rachel comes Angie from the back. And that's out. Yep. Too much power there. Side out. Strong hit from Allison Atenido. Amanda, of, Amanda Gilbert serving. A lot of seniors on this Patriots team. This, this is their last hurrah together, really. Oof. Miss hit from Allison. Hillers just can't put a run together. Yeah, they're struggling. It's early, but they're struggling. Jess, nice bump over by Angie. Amanda, back set to Zale. And nice swing from Rachel. Okay, let's see what the girls can do here. Bella Ansi checking in. Well, you could tell the Patriots have done a little homework. They're not really challenging the front line of the Hillers. They're trying to hit it over yeah. the front line. Hillers down by two. Good serve. Good serve from Jess. Jess with a bump. Angie short set. Sarah Pusco oh, straight yeah. down. Take that. It's her second kill of the night. Another good serve that from Jess. Beauty. Amanda. Jess. Allison. Nice there swing from Lorette. Big open spot in the corner. Beautiful placement. Tied up at 12. Great vision up the floor. A double hit. There you go. This is what you need if you're the Hillers. A nice run here. Hillers in front by one. Well done. Jess was there just in case it stuck over. She made me a little nervous there. Yeah, she did made me too. I thought she was going to hit the net. Coach Crandall calling a timeout here to try to stem the tide. Yeah, good timeout call by uh, the Patriots. Hillers have some momentum in their favor, a nice run. And they're racking up some points. Now have a comfortable two-point lead up 14 to 12. And Concord Carlisle. Got here with a three to one win over Acton Boxborough on Tuesday night. Yeah, and Acton Boxborough made some noise towards the end of that one. They uh, took match three away to extend it. And then Concord Carlisle came through in match four and took it three to one. Yep. Hillers with a 3-0 sweep of Franklin. And the winner of this will play Saturday at Shrewsbury at 3 p.m. And they'll play the winner of the Groton Dunstable Westford Academy match, which is underway right now. Jess will get us back underway. Floats that one to the back. Amanda gets to that. Jess from the back. And she gets to that. Allison, and that's long. Side out. Yeah, good response by the Patriots. Get the ball back in their favor. Yep. Megan Murphy to serve. Amanda, 
comes a short set to Sarah Pusco. Ooh, oh, she didn't get it over. For it. Oh, and that Whoa. violation, or carry. All right. Huh, I didn't think it went over the net. That's what I thought the whole time. <laughs> set out Hillers, Zell to serve. Good serve from Rachel. Uh, oh, still alive, nope. Nice hustle from Concord. I mean, at this stage, you just have to expect everybody's going to have good hustle because you don't beat elite teams unless you're hustling right. e every single moment. Oh, blocked but wide. A nice shot on the corner by Blue. Carly Blue, the captain. Yeah, Jenna and Jill had a nice wall set up, but that ball had a lot of, a lot of power behind it. Mia checks in. One of the elite servers on Concord Carlisle. Jess, Mia short to, oh, mm. Jill, she mishit it. Yeah, she got that with the side of her hand. Mistake there. 16 to 15, Hillers in front. Jess, Mia goes outside to Jenna, Ooh. and that's long. That hurt. Tied up at 16. Another good Amanda, serve. Mia goes outside to Jenna. This time, oh, here's a free ball. Oh, Aww. Jill hits it long. I, it hit the ceiling. It did. I thought it did. The ref's saying it hit the ceiling and came over. No. It hit. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it stayed just below the ceiling. No, it, it, I hit it, and I was about to say something. Because it, it's still in play if it hits the ceiling but stays on your side. It went over. All right, so the Hiller's got it. Good. I, I checked on that before the game because I saw how low the ceiling was. That is a rule I would have never known. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice try is. from Jill. So if you hit the ceiling but it stays on your side, it's the other team's yeah, point. Yeah, the, the first and the second hit can hit the ceiling, the third can't. Okay. Nice, well received. And nice put away from Sarah Pusco. That was a great, great receive of a serve from Jess. Perfect setup and the perfect smash. Bell Ansi and Ivy Gogolin checking in. Ansi back to serve. Hiller's in front by one, 18-17 here in the first set of this sectional semifinal. Tipped, Bella gets to that. Mia outside to Gilbert. Oh yeah. Nice put away from Amanda. Good strong swing. There's just no response to that. Two point lead for the Hillers. Ooh, just long. I thought that was gonna drop. Yeah, the Hillers just keep the serves in. Make the other team make a play. 1918, Hillers in front. Allison, Mia, Jenna, nice. Good kill from Wilworth. Side out Hopkinton, Rachel Zale, Angie Grabmeyer checking in for Mia and Jenna. Now Jenna Wilworth's been huge tonight. Shut down all kinds of momentum from Concord Carlisle. Angie to serve. Oh, nice serve. That was great. That just died as soon as it. That's yeah, still in play. It's, nope. It, that, that literal that ball literally just the bottom fell out as soon as it got to the net. 
Pillars with their largest lead of the night, oh, matching a three-point lead. Sinker. She sends that serve to the back line. We go outside. Amanda, Angie, back to Amanda. Gilbert, nice dig from the libero. Back row hit from Blue, tipped. Angie's there. Rachel with the second hit. Oh, nice Ooh. reflex of, from Jess. Just couldn't keep it in. Yeah. Side out. That's a, that's a rough one, but great attempt by Jess. Megan Hur to serve. Concord Carlisle trails by two. Angie gets to that. Rachel with a set in the middle for Ivy. And a put away from Gogolin. She just leaps over everybody, sees that wide open space in the middle of the floor. Easy point for Ivy. Amanda serving. Oh, great ace from Amanda. That was great. Perfect time for it. Hiller's opening up their largest lead of the night, a four point lead. All right, well, you're two points away from grabbing set number one. You got to do it now. Yep. At this rate. Get momentum on your side and be up one nothing, heading into the second set and that'll put Concord Carlisle in a very unfamiliar position. Yep. The Hillers, they uh, started off a little bit rusty, Steve, but they've really uh, shaped up and they're playing well. Yeah, they're still having a few too many unforced errors, mostly on the service. I don't know if it's because this gym's a little cold, if they're... It's a very bright gymnasium. That was exactly what I thought when I walked in, with the white walls and the bleached wood. Yeah, it's, it, this, this must be a new school. It looks very new. It's a, it's a beautiful building. 23-19, Hiller's in front. They need more parking, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> or, not, or just don't have a football game going on at the same time. Right. Another great serve. Angie, oh, Rachel, I thought that was going to the net. Allison, nice. Oh yeah. She hit that with some power. That had some pop on it. It was pretty remarkable that the uh, libero, Megan Murphy on Parker Carlisle got that one over. So we're at set point here, 24-19. Good serve. Ooh. Oh, nice try from Angie. Just couldn't get the pass to the uh, setter. Ball came in fast. Side out. Well, Parker Carlisle can't afford any more mistakes in this set. Still set point. Short serve, handled by Ivy. Nice bump. Rachel, Angie, see if Zale can put this away. There it is. There it is. Set number one is in the books. Girls take that 25 to 20. That was a thing of beauty. It was. Girls are going to switch sides. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. And we're back for set number two here in Concord with the uh, Concord Carlisle Patriots taking on the Hopkinton Hillers in the Central West sectional semifinals. Hopkinton just took the first set 25 to 20 a well-played set, Tom. Some unforced errors from both teams, though. Yeah, it was a little rusty at the beginning. It looked like two heavyweights just kind of testing each other out. But then uh, both teams got locked into the game, and there was a couple momentum swings. But eventually the Hillers took over and got the victory. It was a very so nice effort. Out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got a front row of Angie, Amanda, and Ivy. Back row of Rachel, Allison, and Jill. Just now checking in for Jill.
And this is going to be interesting to see how uh, Concord Carlisle responds here with a record of 19-1. and one. You have to imagine they're not uh, too used to playing from uh, being down after the yep. first set. Yep, no common opponents between these two teams, so there's no way to really judge performances. You know, Concord Carlisle's in the uh, dual county league, and it's pretty tough teams in that league. Well handled by Jess. Outside to Angie, Grabmeyer goes cross court. Allison, Rachel, outside, or no, right to Ivy. Nice, put away. Great oh. vision. I thought the set was going outside to Zale, but. Ivy said, I got this. Grab my ear to serve. Oh, little miscommunication there. Allison gets that to Angie. She pushes it outside to, oh, beautiful. Wow. Great shot. Did you play the lines any better? Nope. Great placement from Amanda. And mm. that's Angie sells that one long. Well, you know where she was trying to go with that one. Trying to dip it right in that corner. Side out. Allison gets that. Rachel goes outside to Gilbert. Murphy hit the floor there. Rachel, Angie, back to Rachel. Tipped. Great save from Jess. Nice tip over from Ivy. Oh, good arm bar. Great play by Jess. Ivy sends that one to the back row. Save of the night so far. So far. And a block. There it is. Way to put the <laughs> roof on. The Hillers win. I'm just using that for the highlights. That was, right there. That was yes. Great p defensive play from Jess. Ivy finishes it off with a great block. Gilbert to serve. Three to one, by the way. Should mention the score since uh, the graphics are going to be a little more difficult. Boy, Jess is earning her money tonight. She's hitting the floor. Yeah, she's had a lot of great saves as well. Three to two, Hiller's in front. Murphy back to serve for the Patriots. Jess, Angie, back set to Zale, down the line. <laughs> Hillers came to play tonight. Sarah Pusco checks in. Meller back to serve. Four to two, Hillers in front. Nice knuckleball from Jess. Quick dump over, Angie's there. Rachel going outside to Allison, tipped to the back row. Home. And that's out. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was close. I trust the judge, though. He's right there. I, I can't imagine you would have missed that one. I'd still like to see the replay, but I trust the judge. Yeah, he was only five feet away from it. Brooke Smith serving. Conquered down one. Lorette with the bump. Angie short set. Oh, chill. The timing was off on that. Yeah, a little misfire there. All right, you made your uh, mistake. Now we'll get it back. Four to four. We have four officials for this one. I, I've seen three in playoffs. This might be my first time seeing four. Oh, boy. That yeah, one kind of handcuffed Amanda. All well, kinds of problems there. And now Conquer Carlisle, they got a little something brewing. They got who they want at the line in Brooke Smith. And the curse of the announcer. That was uh, a good one, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Zale back to serve. I think I know what to do now. <laughs> Chess with the bump. Oh, they got it. Ooh. Oh, net violation. Yeah. She was trying to avoid it. Mia comes in for Rachel. Carly Blue back to serve. Six to five, Hiller's in front. Or no, Patriots are in front. Mia, outside to Jenna. Nice play go. from Wilworth. Another momentum breaker by Jenna Wilworth. Side out, Hillers. Tied up at six. Lorette to serve. See if Allison can put a string of serves together here. Net. Double hit. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to say, uh, what was it, Jill or Ivy touched the net. Or Jill, rather. But fortunately, she didn't. Free ball. Just gets to it. Outside to Gilbert. Nice again. <laughs> Down the line. Great placement from Gilbert. They know where to go with it. Go right to the corner to Gilbert. Let her smash it down. Five kills on the night for Amanda Gilbert. Great block. Oh, just out. Oh. Was a great block. Yep. Just pushed wide. Eight to seven now, Hiller's on top. Greta Roser to serve. Jess gets that. Mia. Did she hit the net? Yeah, Mia. A double hit. Too many double hits. Yeah. This late in the season. Wilworth blocked. Mia gets to that. Jess outside to Gilbert. Just pumps it over. Blue from the back row. Jess gets to it. Up oh, into the stands. Yeah, good hustle, but you're not getting to that one. Nope. Jess, Mia, goes outside to Gilbert. Yeah. And that set was too far outside. And you got the knuckleball server there. Uh, Greta Roser having a nice run. 10 to eight. Patriots in front. Allison, Mia, Jenna goes deep. Jess hits the floor again. Mia, Allison from the back just puts it over. And side out, Hillers. Nice job by Jill up in front. Ivy and Bella checking in. Now a 10-9 lead for Concord Carlisle. Going for the tie here. Nice serve. Double hit. It is almost impossible to play a serve like that. Tied up at 10. Bella gets to that. Mia to Gilbert. Oh, into the net. Yeah, they were ready for it. Jess checks back in. Side out, Concord. Megan Hur to serve. And that's an ace. Yeah, right in there. And 
in there is a unforced error from the Patriots. Side out Hopkinton. Rachel and Angie checking in for Mia and Jenna. Twelve to eleven. Concord Carlisle with the lead. Angie floats that one to the back row and miscommunication. Yep. We couldn't decide who was going to get to that one. Antonio or her. Tied up at 12. See you later. Thirteen twelve, Hillers in front. Hopkinson took the first set, twenty-five to twenty. Good Angie, push over. Good D. Just from the back. She got that with a palm, it looked like. Yep. At least it did hit the net. I thought it was gonna go under. Right. Tied up at 13. Angie, Rachel outside, Amanda. Ah, yep. That's not what you want to do. No, her approach was off. Yeah, I think she jumped too soon. Conquered in front by one. Jess, Rachel, Ivy. Nice play from the senior. Job by Ivy. Side out Hillers. Ivy's coming through big tonight. 14 14. This is anyone set here? Back and forth. There's a good serve. Her gets to it. Free ball. Wow. That was well played. Got to give the Patriots credit there. Yeah, that defensively that shouldn't happen. That bar, that ball was hit so deep. Yeah, Megan I, Murphy made a nice effort at it. Yep. Patriots in front by one. Amanda. Rachel. Oh, there you smart go. Smart play from the senior. You needed that. Side out Hillers, 15 to 15. Got Rachel down for five kills on the night. She's been big. Jill checks in. See That's ya. long. 16 to 15, Hillers in front. I think they got that point. <laughs> It was like they were applauding like they got it. Ooh. Oh. That's a toughie. Yep. It was a miss hit. And they got the point. Side out, Patriots. Brooke Smith back to serve. Tied up at 16 in the second set. Hillers took the first set. Dangerous server here. Didn't work that time. <laughs> Allison, Sarah Pusco, point. I'll take that. Oh, D, I, D King took that one. Yeah. <laughs> she was tweeting though, so she was doing some work. Oh yeah, she's always hard at work during these games. Follow the Hiller Athletics on Twitter. All kinds of stuff. Amanda, Rachel goes outside to Lorette. That's gonna go over. Good Ooh. save. Lorette. Great block from Jill. Amanda gets to that. Short set, nope, they go outside. Jenna hits that long. It was a nice job by the Hillers keeping that in play on several different occasions. But of course, Patriots coming up with the point. Tied up at 17. 
Yeah, I thought that was going outside. Or, I mean, I'm, I thought it was going to the middle of Jill. It was all wide open. Oh, big mistake. Yep. Miss hit from Jill. 18-17, Patriots in front. Nice receive from Allison. Jenna, blocked. Allison, Mia. Block, great, great block. block from Jill. Tied up at 18. Let's see if Lorette can get a nice run going here. Jess, Mia, outside to Gilbert. Her gets to that. Tipped. And, and that. Yeah. What was that call? I think it was net. Oh. Well, 1918 now. Roser back to serve. Jess, Mia, short set to Jill, just pumps it to the back. Her timing was off. Oh, great play from Jess. Oh, and yeah. what a smart play from Amanda. She couldn't do anything but just tip that over, and it looked like it was going out, but Patriots played it. The reverse one-hander. Is that what you call that? Yep. Belancy back to serve. Tied up at 19 here in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set. Good serve from Bella. And that's long. 2019, Hillers in front. Another good serve from Bella. That's trouble. And yep. another point. And Coach Crandall calls a timeout here. Yeah, good uh, timeout call before uh, Bella really gets going. Well, the Hillers uh, starting to pull away a little bit. Yep, trying and to put a little distance between them. Yeah, keep it away. But this has been a fun set to watch. Back and forth. We got two good teams out there tonight for sure. And the Hillers, of course, uh, with a very impressive set to start tonight off. Let's we'll see if they can make the second set as a as glamorous with a a little four point run here. Yep. But every point in this one has been very difficult to work for. Yeah, there have not been. I think there's only been a couple aces for each team. I mean, right. Yeah, as you expect at this uh, yep part of the postseason. And obviously, Division One, bit of a step up from Division Two. The competition is going to be a bit of a step up. The Hillers, they certainly are dealing with it nicely. And conquered Carlisle, taking all the time in the timeout. And Bella, get us back underway. Another good serve from Ansi. And nice put away. That was uh, Lillian Keith, and she even, she looked like she surprised herself with that hit. Side out Patriots, 21-20, Hillers in front. Girls need a side out here. 
Jess, Mia, outside to Jenna. Great defensive play from Concord. Outside to Gilbert. Ooh. Oh, did it go? What was that? Oh, it went outside Carry. the antenna. Oh. Tied up at 21. This is about what I expected tonight. Jess, Mia, once again, set was too far outside. Amanda couldn't do anything with that, but just send it over. It's Amanda, Mia, outside to Jenna, blocked. What a great block. That yeah, was Keith once and again. Coach Grabmeyer calling a timeout here. Yep, momentum has swung. Concord Carlisle has it, up 22-21. That was a good comeback there, and you know that this team's they're they're not going away. Nope. You want this one, you're going to have to earn it, that's for sure. And of course, as you uh mentioned earlier, winner of this advances to the sectional finals over at Shrewsbury High School, Saturday, November eleventh at three PM. Twenty two twenty one. Concord in front. <laughs> Jess, Mia, short set to Ivy. And nice, there it is. nice side out from Ivy. Rachel and Angie will check in for Mia and Jenna. Angie back to serve, tied up at 22. I think uh, Ivy's gonna start playing a bigger role here in that front line. Ooh, and misplayed. Yeah, that was going out, but carry. I just look confused why that was a point for the Hillers. Well, she essentially was. caught the ball. Uh, at Donito. She pretty much did. <laughs> Good serve. Allison, Angie, back set to Zale. Down the middle to Ivy, and that's long. Oh boy. And yeah, she didn't snap her wrist. She just punched at it. Yeah, she, she didn't follow through. Right. Tied up at 23. The suspense is killing me. Allison, Rachel, Amanda. Kept alive by Concord. And that's long. Side out Hillers. They're a point away from taking the second set. Gilbert at the service line. Hopkins it up 24-23. The biggest seesaw set I've seen all season. Oh, and yeah. that's a way to do it, Amanda. <laughs> An ace to close out the second set. You can't ask for anything more than that. That was great. 25-23, Hillers take the second set for a 2-0 lead. Girls will switch sides. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. This week on From the Vault, PAW's Who's Next? 1998 wrestling show hosted by Dave Violet and Jeff Wharton it featured a dozen wrestlers that competed in backyards and wrestled on trampolines. Pace is just too big. The referee has spent more time with Superfly than watching the match. And, and what just happened there? Look at this. Destruction won't tag him. And this oh. allows Cactus to get a nice submission hold on. And he pulls the arm back to keep him from tagging now. And we're back for set number three here, folks. Hopkinson just took the second set 25-23. And they took the first set 25-18, I believe, or 25-20. And the winner of this will play Westford Academy at 3 p.m. in Shrewsbury on Saturday as Westford upset Groton Dunstable. Westford Academy, the four seed in the tournament. And they are also in the dual county league along with Concord Carlisle. 
Westford Academy now is 19 and two overall. So pretty impressive stuff by uh, Westford Academy, pulling off a big upset over what was a Groton Dunstable team with one loss. And they'll end their season uh, 21 and two. And the Hillers hoping to end the season for Concord Carlisle. They got one set to win here if they want to take it. And out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got a front row of Rachel, Amanda, and Ivy. Back row, Allison, Jill, and Angie. And Jess now coming in. And the, uh, the freshman coach, Tim Pacific, is doing the scouting for the Westford game. So I'm sure the girls will have a detailed report. Jess handles that. Outside to Zale. Blocked wide. Good opening point for the girls. You want to take the momentum right off the bat. Don't even let Concord Carlisle get any hope. Another good serve from Grabmeyer. Back set. Jess, Angie, Zale. Nice save from Smith. Ivy, outside. Wow. Another good dig from Murphy. That looked like a double hit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, pretty impressive by uh, Concord Carlisle with a couple of saves there, but Hiller's just giving them too much to handle. And uh, stoppage here. Yeah, the coach wanted to know what the call was. All right. Grabmeyer serves to the back row, down the middle. Oh, great, great play from Jess. That was unbelievable. Fantastic defensive play. And a great block. Well-earned point from the Hillers. 3-0 Hillers in front here in the third set. Hopkinson took the first two sets. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh, pushed wide by Ivy. Oh, that's what the Good block was set. Yeah, that's what the Patriots needed. They needed to end that run. Megan Hurd to serve. Yeah, she's been really good from the service line tonight. Three to one, Hillers in front. Angie, Rachel, back row. Jess just going to get the, oh, free ball. And Ivy. She's taken over. Well, you were a little prophetic there, Tom. You said you thought <laughs> Ivy was going to have an increased role here later in the match. It's been increasing, I think, as this match has gone on, especially it's in that second set. Tip. Uh, nobody there to cover. Well, obviously, you're, out. you're more of the strategy guy. I'm just kind of guessing here. <laughs> <laughs> Four to two, Hiller's in front. You tell the people what's actually happening. I just make educated guesses. <laughs> Jess, Angie, Zale going cross court. Handled well by Concord. Outside set to Lorette. Murphy handles that. Blue tipped. Nice play from the corner by Blue. Four to three, Hillers in front. Well, it's starting to look like another seesaw battle. Jess, and quick dump over. Nice play from Grabmeyer. The deception coming through that time. Sarah Pusco checks in. Give her an Emmy. 
Jess back to serve. Jill outside to Zale, cross court. It's a free ball. And going inside to Sarah Pusco. Wasn't wow. pretty, but it worked. She got that with her fingertips. She almost missed. That's a huge point. Six to three. Hillers with the three point lead here early in the third set. Well, they're exploiting the height advantage. Another free ball. Rachel going short. Jess outside to Zale. Smash. Great dig from Murphy. Double hit. Yeah, Megan Murphy is pretty impressive on the uh, Concord Carlisle side. And we want a ball switch here. Good serve from Jess. And that's out. Good vision. Good eyes from Allison and Amanda. Eight to three, Hillers with the largest lead of the night. And into the net it goes, side out. I think the Hillers are the best I've seen at judging if a ball's gonna stay in or go out. Obviously a lot of that has to do with coaching. Murphy to serve. Allison, oh, back to Allison. It was uh, Blake in the front row. Uh, Willa Blake making yep. a nice play. It's a good play. Eight to five, Hillers in front. A good receive from Amanda. Outside to Zale. Tip. Amanda gets to that. Angie outside to Lorette. Nice put away from Lorette. Didn't swing hard, literally placed the ball. That was placed perfectly. Side out. Zale to serve. Nine to five, Hillers in front here in the third set. That is out. Good call. Good teamwork there. Five point lead for the Hillers. Oh, great wow. block from Jill. Get I thought that, that was going wide. That, that just stayed on the line. Beautiful play. She just jumped up and said, this is my house. And Coach Crandall calls a timeout. Yeah, they need that he one. He senses a run here. Hopkinson with a six point lead in the third set. Well, this has certainly been the most dominant set by the Hillers tonight, and it's been a really good one. Yep. And They've cut down on the unforced errors. Right. And th this is what the Hillers do. I mean, they have a rough couple of games towards the beginning of the season, and they're never bad, but, you know, they have some bumps in the road. But then they get uh, really good as the season goes on, and they're red hot going into the playoffs, and they continue yep. to be red hot. Obviously a long way to go, but I like what I'm seeing right now. And the scoreboard just shut off. I don't know if that was intentional or not. A little home cooking. It's back on now. And Rachel gets us back underway. Great and that never went over. Yeah, I wasn't sure if Jill got a piece of that or if it just uh, went right off the net and backfired. It didn't look like it made it over. I'll give it a point to Jill anyway. Tip. Yep. Nice hustle from Jess. What a great dive that was, though. Mia checks in for Rachel. 
Jennifer Angie. Well, keep your foot on the gas. Don't let them back into it. 12 to 6, Hillers in front. Brooke Smith back to serve. Jess handles that. Short set to Sarah Pusco. That's the snap of the wrist. A thing of beauty. Side out Hillers. Lorette back to serve. 13 to six. Between Jill and Ivy in front, that just presents major problems for any opponent. Good serve from Lorette. Ah. Oh. Yeah, a little premature on that block attempt. The Hillers serving has been a whole lot better, I think, than it was yep. against Franklin. Yeah, it's gotten better here in the third set. Blue with a good serve. Outside to Gilbert. And nice power from Amanda. Partial deflection, but it redirected the ball to an open area. Hillers up by a touchdown, 14 to seven. Ivy and Bella checking in. Ansi back to serve. Nice serve from Bella. Ooh, nicely played. Allison, Mia, short set to Ivy. That's gonna be trouble, and it is. 15 to seven, Hillers in front. The Patriots credit for even keeping that one in play for a while. Good go. serve from Ansi. Carly Blue from the back row. Oh! <laughs> we'll take that. Jenna says, I'll take that. I think Bella has said, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to wait to say what I was going to say. <laughs> Another good serve from Ansi. And there's a block. That one looked like a carry. Yeah, and That's there's a point. The Hit the ceiling. Hillers in front by 10. And there's an ace. They just have Concord Carlisle overwhelmed right now. I believe that's their second of the night. 18 to seven. Another great ace. Wow, Bella Otzi. And Coach Crandall calling a timeout here. All right, now Patriots that, are down 19 to seven in the third set. Now that there's a timeout, I'll say it. I think Bella <laughs> has had the two biggest service runs of the night for the Hillers. And this one is, uh, I think, maybe the biggest. Yeah. This has been impressive by Hopkinton. You come in here playing a, a team with one loss in a hesitant environment, and you come through and dominate. That's what the girls have done all season. It certainly is. They never cease to amaze me. Six more points, though. Nineteen to seven, Hillers leading. No more timeouts for Concord either. They've used their two allotted timeouts. Nicely done. Oh, a little miscommunication there. Ivy wanted the second ball and. Mew wanted to set it. Just checking back in. You do get a little bit of wiggle room. But don't take too much. It's already been a, it's already been enough uh, pressure tonight. 
Jess Mia goes outside to Gilbert. Ooh, that was going out. Ooh. Wow. Oh, great play oh, oh, oh. from Gilbert. Still alive. Wilworth. Tip. Amanda. Mia. Back to Gilbert. <laughs> great <laughs> hustle from Concord. Volley of the night. Double hit. Uh, well, you needed that point if you're Concord Carlisle. Yep, that was a well-earned point for the Patriots. All right, well, Patriots are playing desperate now. They know this is it if they don't start going on a run. Allison to Mia. And yeah, another double hit. Uh, Maybe a timeout soon if you're the Hillers. Amanda, Mia. There down. You go. That ball was put down. All right, you had your fun. Now we're going to have ours. Give me the point. Great kill from Gilbert. Side out Hillers, Grabmeyer back to serve. 20 to 10, Hopkinton in front. Late in the third set. Hillers took the first two sets. Nice floater from Angie. Ivy, back to Gilbert, and that's long. Yeah, a little too much zip on that one. Side out to the Patriots. It looks like the football game ended. Got a lot of the uh, football fans starting to walk in. Yeah, you can tell they're layered up. Jess, Rachel, Jess from the back row, just bumps it. Tip, Jess is there. Outside to Zale, going cross court, and that's wide. All right, well, they're closing in. It's not over. Twenty to twelve. Jess is there again. Angie outside to Zale, cross court. Oh, there great play from Ivy. She just said, "I got this. I'll get us the ball back." 21-12, Hillers in front. Amanda's serving. Jess, Angie, Zale from the back. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Good smart play from Concord. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, give him that point. Don't get yourself hurt out there. 21-13. Jess receives that short set or middle set. Another go. put away for Ivy. She's been getting it done all night. 22-13. Hopkinton in front. Bella out. Jill in. Jess to serve. I don't think she wanted to play that one. Jill, here we go. Short set. Sarah Puska with there a snap. 23-13. Hiller's two points away from heading to Shrewsbury for the finals of the Central West Division I. Oh, another block for Sarah Pusco. Rejected. 
Boy, she and Ivy have put on a clinic for how to play middle hitter. Yeah, they're my MVPs tonight. So we're at match point, 24-13. Jess puts the ball in play. Jess gets to that. Angie, back set to Zale. Amanda, Angie, Lorette, block, and there that's it, folks. Hopkinton defeats Concord Carlisle. Three sets to zero. Nice performance from the girls, Tom. That was a great performance. Unbelievable. What a win. They're going to the sectional finals. Well deserved. This team just keeps getting better and better. It's yep. scary. It's yep. going to be a lot of fun in Shrewsbury on Saturday. Yep. They started out, uh, both teams started out a little uh, helter-skelter, a lot of unforced errors. Kind of calmed down halfway through that first set. Second set was nip and tuck, very close. Third set, Hopkinton stepped it up. They stepped up their game. Yeah, hats off to Concord Carlisle. They're a great team, a lot of talent, and uh, congratulations to them on a great season as well. Yep. So the girls will play Saturday in Shrewsbury at 3 o'clock against uh, Westford Academy. The four seed. It's going to be a good battle, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to make that one, but hopefully uh, they'll have more games after that, and then I'll be able to make those. Yep. <laughs> so we've got uh, girls roughly have 24 hours to prepare, and uh, they'll be back at this again. So we will see you on Saturday. <laughs>